Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have a fun project for us today. So I'm going to show you how to fold these pretty paper stars and then I've got a few ideas of how we can use them. So this one I made into a really pretty, I think, Christmas card using some coordinating paper. This was using some thinner scrapbook paper and these will go into an envelope. You know, it's gonna, if you're gonna send them through the mail with this little blingy, it'll of course be extra postage, but what a lovely little Christmas card or um, instead of a bow on a package, you could put one of these um, on a package. Here's one made out of some vintage map book page. Um, you could use any kind of book page. And I just put a pretty red button in the middle. That one is sewn on. And I haven't done anything with this one yet, but I, again, I have some ideas. And then this one is made from one of my digitals that I just printed on regular, just copy paper. This is the one of the retro Christmas papers. I think it's so cute. And guys, this is single-sided paper, except for the book page. Uh, so you can use a double-sided paper, but if you don't mind, you know, just maybe a peak of the white coming through, you can just use a single-sided paper. This one I made into like a little ornament. It could also be a dangle on a spine of a journal, or again, on a, you could attach it temporarily to a card and then this could be like the gift. So I did back this one with some of the paper so that regardless of which side you saw, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, we could put a star on this side <laughs> and then it would be a really pretty ornament, wouldn't it? But again, if we figured out a way to tuck it or even attach it to a card by the string so that it comes off of the card easily without damaging it. That would be such a cute gift for somebody. This one, honestly, there's no reason why we couldn't poke a hole and just hang it like this as an ornament too, because that's really pretty. I mean, this is just another one I made with the book page. It is easiest, you know, with a little bit of a thinner paper, but I've made some, um, you know, with a cardstock weight, you just have to really, really crease. And I think it just takes a little bit longer, but they look really cute. And of course, the thicker the paper, the bulkier. Um, if you stick around to the end, or I guess if you fast forward, but if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you another one that I've made that's a little bit of a surprise. So I think these are fun. I think there's um, a garland you know, uh, for the mantle or for a party. I, I just, oh my gosh, guys. And I have made these stars for years. I haven't made them in a few years, but I don't remember where I learned the fold. There's probably other videos or whatever out there, but um, I have... I haven't, I don't, I've never made a tutorial on how to make them. And I was looking through some of my Christmas things and I thought, well, this is going to be fun. So I'm going to just stick these over here. So what you need is square paper. Oh, I should have explained that. This one is made with two by two inch squares and you need nine of them. You need something for the back and then eight squares for the star. I guess this could be a flower too. Um, so what you back it on can be the same paper or it can be different. And in fact, this one, I didn't have enough to cut eight squares with the sparkle on it. And so I just cut uh, just another, this is a three by three square and that's this size. You, you don't see whatever is by the time you glue these down, you're not seeing the backing paper. So if I glue this one and we'll do that, we'll glue our star onto the white side and then this will be on the back. So I hope that makes sense. So this is using three by three inch squares. This is by a two by two by two square. You could, as long as your paper's square, you can make it whatever size. So this is what you do. You're gonna fold eight the exact same way. So the neater your square, making sure it's an exact square, really does help them come together easily and nicely. And if you're careful folding. So the first thing you're gonna do is fold one corner to the other corner like that, unfold it, and then do the other corner the exact same. So now we've folded both corners. Now you're going to 
and, and the paper will just kind of do this, and this is where I, I meant it's easier with a little bit thinner paper. You're going to bring the this here because it just kind of wants to fold into a triangle, believe it or not. And I'm showing you this with the three by three paper. So hopefully you can see it. The two by two isn't hard, it's just a little less. So see how it just makes that nice point? And we're, we're gonna do another one, so don't worry, but it's gonna look like this. So you just kind of push it in and flatten it out into a triangle. Then once you've done that, you're gonna flip it over, and we'll talk about that in a second, because then we're gonna fold, well, here's a trick too. You wanna be folding it on the side that when you hold it down, you got the two flaps up. So I guess it really, I don't know. I always flip it over, I don't know why. Flip it over, fold one of these like this, just so that you kind of get a crease line to see your center point. Because then we're, yeah, this one doesn't work. It's this side. What's going on, people? Hold on. There we go. It works, it's just user error there for a second. And by the way, when you start making a bunch of these, this is pretty easy. You're gonna fold it to this point and to that center line so you get this little tail that hangs out. And then you're gonna do the other side the same way. So it almost looks like a little, some kind of like a little spaceship maybe. Okay, I made these the other day and now I'm filming the video so I haven't folded one in a couple of days. <laughs> Once you start folding them though, you don't even have to think about it. They just come together and it's not hard at all. So I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna, I've fold, I've pre-folded some of my eight, but let's do a couple of more because I know I like to see things several times. You can always pause and or rewind the video if you need to see it more times. All right, hopefully we'll make it a little clearer this time. So fold in half on the diagonal and then turn it and open it, fold the other corner to corner. So you folded it like that. And then you come, and like I said, you just kind of push it in so that it makes this lovely triangle. And then if you kind of fold it over, you'll have your nice score line to see. You do have to flip it over. Guys, I'm not even quite sure why, but you have to flip it over. It looks like it's gonna be the same and it's not. So if you go to fold yours in and it did what mine did on this side, you go to fold it and, and you can't make it hang or go, go further, just flip it over because you're on the wrong side. And then, and if anybody knows what I'm doing that's causing that to only work on one side, let me know, but it works. There we go, yay. All right, this time I'm really gonna do it a little easier for you. One more time, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. Corner to corner, corner to corner, and then you're gonna just kinda squish it in, fold it into a nice triangle, right? So it looks like this. I flip it over. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you should need to. And then, that's what it is, guys. It's not the flip over. Have your point to the bottom or facing you. The point facing you if you're folding up and then fold this side. Okay. I hope I didn't confuse you guys, but that is your fold. Okay. Three by three square. You can make a test one of these if you want to, like, um, just regular paper cut into your three by three squares. I have a cube of note paper. It's not sticky notes, doesn't have the sticky on it, but that are a three by three square. And I just practice folding with some of that paper. So if that helps you. Okay, so ta-da, I have some more that I've made and you need eight of these. Okay, now you're gonna take your three by three square. I'm gonna glue mine to the white side because you're not gonna see it anyway. So it can really be whatever paper you want. You could do a cardstock weight if you wanna give it a little more thickness, it, depending on how you're gonna use it. Now, I add glue just kind of right down the middle there a little bit. You can cover the whole piece if you want to, but again, 
you don't have to. Now, when you start making them a little bit, if you make them a little bit bigger, you probably do want to put glue, a little more glue on there. But you're going to first put one, <laughs> let me stop wiggling it, right along the edge of one of the sides with the, the, the point going to the middle. And then you're going to, this one we're going to add glue and then we're going to lay it line it across this edge with the two points touching. Just touching. Again, that's about all the glue I'm using. And I'm just using my uh, PVA glue uh, in the little dispenser bottles. I usually try to show you guys the glue I use because if I don't, somebody always asks, which is fine. But this is my kind of everyday favorite glue. It's Line Co brand PVA glue. I've got it linked in my Amazon storefront for you guys. And the link to that is in the description of the video. It's an affiliate link. Amazon pays me a couple of pennies if you end up making a purchase. Thank you. No cost to you. Okay. So then we're going to add the third and then the fourth one the exact same way. We're going to get all four of these glued down. Show you that. So if I start rambling and yapping, you guys know what I'm doing. So it starts to get easier and easier, I think, to lay these down because they just kind of line up there together. How cute! And depending on the paper you use, of course, they're going to look lots of different ways. These don't have to just be at the holidays at all. You know, I'm using this as kind of a wintry paper, but this, like I said, the book page, I put a little pink sparkly there. You can really do whatever you want. Now, before I add glue, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Each of these the last four are just going to slide their points right in there like this. Ta-da! And we're going to glue them in the same way. And then we're going to pick something, a button or a sparkle. This one, I'm sure I'm going to pick a sparkle. For the center, if you don't have sparkles or buttons, you could just like punch out a circle to put there, um, uh, maybe with some contrast if you wanted to, or with the same paper. If you, um, you know, really the center can be anything that you think looks pretty. All right, so again, let me show you. I put the glue here and it just slides right in. And what happens here is the straight part of the triangle right here, the bottom of the triangle lines up like that. I don't know how to explain that, but to that corner, okay? And again, once you folded your paper, these glue together, I think, really easily. Slides right in. And then the last one that could not be easier. I love these. They're making me very happy. Okay. And it's just a little something extra. And if you are going to make like, like I said, you really can, if you're careful, you can make these into cards and then put them into an envelope um, or even one of those clear bags would be cute for the card. Okay. Now I, I don't know if you guys watched the, what did I get in my craft haul video? I got a bunch of these blingies and I am going to use, I put a silver one, I think, on the first one I did, which I think looks great. I also have these, let's see really quick. They almost look just like a pearl, but they're super shiny. Ooh, that would be pretty. It's like iridescent. And this is a white one that is that faceted look like my other little blingies. I think I'm gonna do the one that's like the super shiny pearl pretty, right? So again, if you don't have any of these, a button, uh, ooh, like a little pom-pom. I just saw my pom-pom ribbon. You know what? Like a little, you cut one of these off, like a little piece of cotton. Wouldn't that be cute in the middle? That would be cute. Just get one of your punches out like this. I don't really have any coordinating paper on my desk, but... I have paper, so we'll just punch a circle and, you know, a little circle would just be cute too. So don't feel like you have to have all the extra supplies if you want to try to make these. 
I am going to use a glue dot. This is a, one of the permanent glue dots and stick it down with that. Some of these I did with hot glue and hot glue works great. I just don't have my glue gun plugged in. But these also work and I've used these on some. Just something a really good, really good tacky, sticky adhesive is what you need. All right. I love that. And again, we can attach, you know, you could layer whatever paper you want on the back. We could make another one of these and stick it to the back. If you're going to do that, I would glue it down before you put in your pretty center so that it'll lay flat and easy for you to lay them down. I just think they're precious. Super cute ornaments. So let me show you what I made. I know all of you guys are wondering what I was wondering is what if you made one with 12 by 12 paper, almost wreath size, and look what I made. So let me move these over, ha <laughs> ha, I love it. And I put a ribbon on it. So let me tell you what I did with this one. This one has one of my big jumbo eyelets right here. And I used eight 12 by 12 pieces of paper. Well, not, and then nine, because then I put it on a piece of 12 by 12 paper back here. The I picked the plaid. And you could use, I guess if you had it, 12 of the same papers. These came from one of the same paper packs from Hobby Lobby. I then cut with my die cut, I have a big shot, uh, two scallop circles. And one of the papers, this one has a wreath, so I did kind of that wreath. The, uh, cut the wreath with the scalloped circle and then backed it on another circle. And then I added this big jumbo red button with some gold, gold thread. And then I did a gingham ribbon. And I've only, I've done kind of just a loose knot here because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna hang this on my door, but I am. Now I'm gonna use this as an inside wreath. I, it's just paper and I haven't done anything to protect the paper. I did do some extra gluing on this one along these edges. I just used the hot, and I used hot glue because it's so large. But I love how it turned out. And again, I know y'all were just wondering. Um, this is the, the biggest paper I have. I guess you could go even bigger. And this is a, a cardstock weight. It's not the lighter um, weight scrapbook paper. So that did not fall off of something. That's one of those cute little gingham buttons that I have. So anyway, so many options, not just for Christmas. There's one that I've already added a string to. Again, this is the card. This is the one with some digital paper. Um, one, one hint, so you know, and I'm sure we could do the math for other measurements, but if you want to make two that are the three by three inch square size, if you use a different paper to back it on, and like I said, you can use just a plain card stock, craft color, any kind of coordinating paper. So you're not gonna see it from the front. You can actually get two this size, three by three out of one 12 piece of paper. You won't have a three by three square to mount them on, but you can get enough to make the stars out of one piece of paper, if that helps anybody. So these were both made um, from one, the, the same piece of scrapbook paper, okay? And I hope you like this project. I hope you will think about um, making some. Let me know. I know this is a little different from what I normally do. I could even see, especially some of these smaller ones, depending on what I put in the middle, putting these on a page. You know, it'll add some fluff, but I think they'll, they'd lay flat enough when the journal was closed. So love it, love it, love it. And if you really wanted them to lay flat and you just wanted to kind of give the illusion of this, you know, the puffy star, you know, glue it down a little bit and you can put it on a journal page. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, let me know if you're gonna make any of these uh, for some of your Christmas items this year. Thanks guys, have a great day.